Hello again, world. I'm really not sure if I like the fact that my camera doesn't make that little noise when I start recording or not. And I don't know how to make it do it again. Oh well. Anyway, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about voting. I'm hoping that I don't get a text message that interrupts my, my video recording here because I'm on my phone again. Um, and I want to talk to you about voting, like I said. Uh, I'm not going to vote either for Romney or Obama. And I realize that voting might not be the best topic to talk about on YouTube. I don't know if it's like one of those, you shouldn't do it like at a bar, you know, you have politics and religion you shouldn't talk about. Well, I'm going to talk about politics on YouTube. I hope you guys at least hear me out here. I've been talked to a lot of people, um, a lot of people that don't like Romney or Obama, and, you know, I kind of fit into that boat, too, because I don't like either of them. Uh, most politicians these days are cookie-cutter politicians, and they're pretty much worthless in a nutshell. Uh, they don't do anything for the people, they're not in the people's best interest, and they're out self-serving, and, you know, nothing really good gets accomplished. They can't even manage to pass a budget on time. Uh, However, that's not what I want to talk to you about. What I want to talk to you about today was the two presidential candidates. And I say two presidential candidates because, according to the news and everywhere else in the world, there's only two presidential candidates. Uh, I wanted to make you aware, if you watch my video um, and you didn't know, please tell your friends, your family, anybody else that may or may not be interested or is on the fence uh, about voting. I live in northeastern Pennsylvania, as I've said in some of my other videos, and in my state as well as I think 47 or 48 others, there is a third-party candidate, uh, Mr. Gary Johnson, on the presidential ballot. Uh, why we haven't heard about him anywhere in any studies, any polls, debates, etc., I guess that's really pretty much left to the theorizing. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know the reason why. I have a couple ideas why, but I don't know why. Um, I'm not going to say why, but I do know that, like Ron Paul was pushed out of having his speeches during the debates because he wouldn't endorse President Romney or presidential candidate Romney, um, the candidate everybody wanted, even though he's worthless, I think. Um, they denied him his speeches at the, uh, at the Republican convention. Similar to that, um, it seems like individual states, federal government, the debates managed to keep Gary Johnson out of the debates. But, you know, even with the hiccups and stuff, he still managed to get on the ballot in most of the states. You know, minus I think it was Oklahoma and Missouri or Wisconsin or so. I'm not really sure. I don't have any information in front of me. Um, I never sit here and make my videos with a script. I just talk to you. So I don't have any data to support this at my fingertips. However, if you would like it, uh, send me an email to... Um, I'd probably check this one the most. Uh, the, T-H-E, underscore, Colonel, C-O-L-O-N-E-L at the little at uh, p-a-z-r-t dot com and I will get back to you and uh, cite you some resources and show you what I'm talking about if you if you want that um, but just so you're aware there is another choice and your other choice is Mr. Gary Johnson who kind of falls in between the two crazies into a realm of realism and uh, understanding of, well, at least it feels like I could be could be wrong could be another one of the other ones but you know uh, I would like to hope and think that you know because there is a third choice even if now, and this is one of my biggest arguments with people that I talk to, is is that a third party candidate doesn't stand a choice, uh, doesn't stand a chance because not enough people, even that believe in him, won't vote for them, and they believe they're throwing away their votes by not voting the current guy, the incumbent president, out of office. I completely disagree with this theory, and I believe that by not voting for who you truly believe in, you're doing yourself a disservice and our country a disservice. Um, because really, worst comes to worst, if you think that throwing your vote away on a third party is what you're going to do, and so you're going to vote on the lesser evil, or what you believe to be the lesser evil, and even though they're going to lose, your belief is this, because uh, the Republican vote is split between this independent guy and the Republicans. Uh, well, let me tell you something. So is the other one. 
Uh, the Democratic vote is split just as much. There, are, I know probably more Democrats that like Gary Johnson than Republicans because the Republicans refuse to pull their head out of their asses and look at anybody besides Mitt Romney because he's a Republican candidate, which I think is retarded because... I don't know. I just think it's retarded. I mean, why do we even have political parties? Maybe we should just abolish political parties completely and have people run um, based on what they believe in and what we believe in and what can get done. Uh, I don't believe that any presidential candidate, whether it be Barack Obama or Mitt Romney or Gary Johnson or Ron Paul or Jesus Christ, I don't think that any one of them can straighten out the problems that uh, this country has in four years. I, it's not possible, and it won't happen. However, um, if we know that two of these people are backed mostly in their campaign funding by gigantic banks and uh, hedge funds and other stuff, such as like Goldman Sachs, maybe I don't know. Let's, let's look this stuff up. Um, you know, do you think they have your best interest, my best interest, our best interest at heart? Not for a second. I mean, it, it's really kind of disgusting. And I know, I'm pretty sure I've touched on politics in one of my videos before. You know, and, and it's just, it's sad that, you know, it's become a job and that, uh, you know, people do it to make money. Uh, whatever happened to being a public servant, you know, it's my understanding. And granted, I wasn't alive back then. Uh, it's my understanding that in the beginning of this country, the founding of this country, you know, public service was public service. If you're going to be a congressman or a senator or a president, you know, you had a job, whether it be a tailor, a shoesmith, a blacksmith, a, a farmer, a plantation owner, whatever it was, a, you know, from, from the, the top to the bottom, the teacher or this or that, I don't really care. You could be a coffin maker, a ditch digger. Um, but basically the public service thing was about you doing something better for your country and trying to fix a problem. You would leave the profession you are currently in to serve as a congressman and make laws to help your people, you know, and then when you were done with your term, here's the crazy part. Instead of staying there for the rest of your life and not doing anything and making a bunch of money off it, you would instead take your ass back to the job that you left two years ago and carry on your merry way and do what you were doing before. Uh, like I said, I could be wrong and uh, in my understanding and I don't know, I, I never lived then. However, it's my understanding after reading some uh, some sites, some books, and uh, talking to people. That's how that's how it was. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, I, I don't understand why it's now a profession, a job. I mean, career politicians don't do anything for the people, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, uh, I guess the flip side the flip side of that argument is that you know, for the first two years, you know, I've had people tell me for the first two years of your you know your job as a congressman, you still don't even know where your office is. You know, and that may be, but I don't know. Give them a freaking GPS device and, you know, have them navigate themselves to their office. I, uh, I feel like that the people, we, the people, crazy how that keeps coming up around, around you and your lives, right? That, that one little line, we the people, uh, us, you, me, and everybody else in this country need to stand up for what we want and what we think we need. Now, I, I really don't want to go out here and get into debate about any other nonsense that people are talking about. Um, I, there's a civil way to do this. There's a civil, or there's an uncivil way to do this. The right way to do this, as far as I'm concerned, is to sit down, you know, make smart choices in who we elect in local, county, state, federal jobs, positions public servants and uh you know if they don't do a good job or they don't do what we want them to do guess what don't elect them again that's pretty simple right do you want me to say it again do not elect people who do not do what we want or need them to do take one person for example your current president now like i said i don't like either of the mainstream presidential candidates. I think they're both trash. I think neither of them are going to do any good for the country as a whole. But I mean, really, what good has Barack Obama done for this country? Please. I mean, like, if you have something great, I mean, put it in the comment down below because, you know, maybe I've missed it. I don't know. It didn't. If there's anything, give me five things. If you can give me five things, 
I will be amazed. Um, since he, you know, since he's been in office, and I don't want anything, you know, saying well Bush did this or Clinton did this or George Washington did that. I don't give a shit what anybody else did. I tell you what, because I wasn't impressed by Bush. I wasn't impressed by Bush's father. I wasn't impressed by Clinton, even though I think he did the best job out of the last handful of presidents. Um, you know, it's it's just a downhill slope from where we were probably since before I got born. I mean. And what it's going to take is America, uh, we the people, again, wake the hell up and realize that if we keep doing this nonsense, you know, and pretending like if we stick our heads in the sand like a freaking ostrich, these problems will go away because we don't see them. You know, if we don't take our heads out of the sand and do something about these problems before they freaking envelop us and we can't get out of where we're at, you know, it, it's our fault. And by us, I mean you. Well, and me, I guess, because if, you know, it doesn't get straightened out, then I guess I failed at, at convincing anybody to do the right thing, and I failed at convincing you to convince other people to do the right thing if I convince you. So, if you do anything for this presidential election, go and research the people that are running and that will be on the ballot in your state. I don't care what state that is. Chances are the people that are going for presidential election in your state, and, and the chances are pretty high, are going to be Barack Obama, Mitt Romney, and Gary Johnson. If you don't know what all three of those are about, or even what any one of them is about, go research and find out. The only way that America is going to fix itself is by fixing itself. We need to wake up and do our jobs. We need to realize that this problem, these problems, this crazy series of events, it's not, they are not even, are gonna, they're not going to fix themselves. Shut up, Vern, I'm talking. These problems aren't going to fix themselves. And what it's going to take is for America, whack this dog in the face, it's going to take America to wake up and do something about our problems instead of hoping that they go away because you know what hope is hope isn't shit because actions are what makes things happen and by actions i mean take your ass out and vote after you research for the candidate you want not the candidate you think is going to beat the guy that you don't like it's in office now because that's some bullshit there there is a possibility that actually there's a great possibility that gary johnson won't win this election i realize that and I don't believe I'm throwing away my vote by voting for him. You know why? Because I believe that I'm doing the right thing and voting for who I believe in. Now, there's another part to that. And that part is, well, if everybody votes for Gary Johnson, it's a Republican. Which I'm not, by the way. I'm not a, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm an Independent. I've been an Independent since I was able to vote. Why? Because I don't give a shit what your party is. If you are not a good person and I don't believe you're going to do anything to help me, I'm not voting for you. It's really that simple. However, I now see, you made me lose my, my, uh, my, my train of thought here. Anyway, the, the gist of this message is basically research your candidates. Know who and what you're voting for. I mean, like... Knowledge is power. You have the internet, don't you? If you're watching this video, you at least have access to it in a library. Instead of playing Facebook games and watching stupid-ass shows on TV, go and research the future of you. The future of your country. The future of your state. The future of mankind. Whatever you want to call it. I don't even care. Go do your due diligence. Stop eating this bullshit that's spoon-fed to you by... Fox News or NBC or CNBC or NBS or whatever the hell else. There. I, don't even, I, don't, I don't know where I care. You know, but do your own research. Find your own sources. And be informed. You know, never stop learning. Never stop searching. Make your own choices. And make the decision that's best for you. And stand by your decision. Don't let somebody else be like, Oh, well, they're not going to win anyway. Don't vote for them because that's asinine. You know, at the very minimum, I'm hoping that enough people vote for Gary Johnson so that there's a third party that's recognized in the United States and that they're not pushed out of the debates next term, next four years and 20... Who gives a shit if we're even around by then? I mean, like, 
2016. Hey, maybe there'll be three people in the debates. Crazy thought, right? It's just insane. I, I don't even know where you get these ideas from. You know, if enough people support this, maybe they'll allow somebody to debate, you know, allow them not to be smothered out by the media, snuffed out like a, like a flame, you know. It, I know I'm beating a dead horse right now, but go research and vote for yourself, not for some nonsense you watched on Fox News or wherever it is you're watching it. You know, be your own person. Crazy, right? Man, I've, it's like it's frowned upon these days, but be your own person for us, for we, the people. Thanks. Um, I guess I'll tack this in at the bottom since I'm sure there will be responses, questions, comments, gripes, concerns, mostly mostly gripes and rants in in uh in response to this people complaining. You'll probably send me messages instead of posting in the comments like you usually do. Do me a favor, post them in the comments so everybody else can read them and sign into your account, like a your real account, so that people can see who you are making the comments. Don't hide behind you know, a shroud of anonymity because you can. Like, that's great. It's it's great to be anonymous and uh, not have anybody know who you are. But why hide? You know, if you really believe what you're saying and you're not here just like cause problems, just, just say it. You know, I would tell you what I think. I wouldn't hold it back for a second. Any of you that know me know that's the truth. Um, so, you know, do me a favor. Do the same for me. I'll check in with you in a little bit. I'll talk to you about a storm. Take care.